What's going on YouTube? Today I'm bringing you a top 10 plays. Uh, it was going to be top 5, but these guys are absolutely incredible with their content. And I had to make it a top 10. And after that, I will show you a review in my predictions. So stay tuned for this video. It's going to be great. Alright, we're going to jump right in to number 10. Here we got Shade versus Juniper. Guys, this is... An amazing play by Shade, and it's a hard shot to do. Let's just watch it. So he jumps. He doesn't jump through the window, but he jumps like I don't know how to explain it. He, you, see, you see how he jumped and showed you how he he shot this to Alex, and I, I just it's an amazing play. That's got to be a top ten. Um, Tokes here. Sorry, Jacob here. With an amazing play against Dylan. Um, he shuts his lane off right there with the thermite. Turns, finds Dylan, and shoots him. That was a turning point for him. That gives him momentum. Number eight's got to be uh, Afro versus Gigi. Uh, Afro is a really good player. Shows off his potential to be a really great prep player here. And that missed jump right there actually gave him time to find her. And, I mean, that, that gun, it's just... It's going to slay from that range. It really is. Um, J4, he's actually got 3 and 1 here, guys. He's got 3 plays. That He's running SOCOM rounds, and that, that shot right there was incredible. Shoots him again. I mean, th this play, you got to give credit to J4 on this one. 3 kills in a row, and then punches him right here. 3 rounds in this clip. That's just, that's an incredible play. And the number six, we have Tokes going off. And again, another three plays in one. Small map, so I give him credit for this one. Small map uses a gas grenade there. Shoots him again. And then the next the next kill is absolutely incredible. It it is it's good. It's a very good play on Tokes' part. We're gonna get to see it right here. Gets shot with these SOCOM rounds. He is one shot right now, guys. He he's hurting. Takes the challenge, wins it, takes the lead. I mean, that was incredible. And, and then we have Alex. Number five, she turns and burns. Let's just watch that one again. We got to watch that one again. That was such an amazing play from her. So she's seen him. So she's getting she's getting in position right now. Gets up there, turns around, and just by the time she turns around, it was perfect timing. Perfect Call of Duty timing. Number four, we have Gigi. Now, tell me... This is not an amazing shot. You cannot tell me that right there is not an amazing shot for number four. Whoops. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at this shot, guys. Look at this shot. Oh, my God. Number three, we have GG again in a row. This is uh, this is an incredible play. Using Dead Silence. Dead Silence just got over. I gotta give her number three because she's the only one who did a finishing move in this tournament so far, and that that was it was just good timing. Number two, now let me tell you guys, number two is, is probably my favorite because it, it gave Dylan momentum. It's Dylan's Dylan got the top two. I'm not gonna lie, Dylan got the top two, and this play right here is absolutely it's it's beast mode. This is Dylan's beast mode right here. That shot is incredible. And then number one. We have the grenade kill. That that pretty well sealed the deal right there. I mean, I mean that that grenade kill just sealed the deal. Let's watch it again here. There it is. So he throws it. He kind of knows where he's at. But look at the score, guys. 26-25. And that is a momentum killer. If you're on, if you're Jacob, that kills your momentum. That absolutely kills. Your momentum. You just got killed by almost a cross map nade. The the time's ticking. It, it's 26 25 at that point. You get killed by the grenade. Now now you're down by two, and you got to score five, and he's only got to score three. That's that's tough. And, and, and that grenade was just it had to been a momentum killer. And I mean, you got to give it up for Dylan. That was a damn good play. That was a damn good play on his end. So there's your top 10, real fast, real easy, and I mean, I just...
those are my top ten. It was so hard to pick a top five. I was only going to do top five, but these guys, you know, they, they really they really put in the work. So, in honor of the top ten, let's just watch them all again. And this time, unmuted, and I'll be quiet. I'll be here, sir. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'll try to be quiet. That was just, That's just an amazing play. See, he cuts the lane off there. Jumps out. Finds where he's at. Find where he's at, kills him. Damn good play on, on Jacob's end. Afro just just playing the way Afro plays, you know, trying to find her. Might miss the jump there, but again, that that miss jump is big. She takes time to shut that door, and it it's just it's just game over right there for that. Sorry, DJ, I didn't mean to call you, dude. Turns on him. Not really like turning on him, but like just snaps. Okay. Finds him again. I mean, you got you guys really got to give it up for this play. Again, it's three plays in one, but you got to give it up. Damn. I'm not sure. I wish I could, I, I wish I would have seen what Tokes' view was on that. I, I really wish I seen that. Turns on him. Did it really did turn on him? Gas grenade finds kind of where he's at. Now, I just can't believe that he challenged this one shot with so calm rounds. It's it's good. Tied 15 15. You have nothing else to lose right now. Ooh. He pretty well had to challenge. Oops, he pretty well had to. No? Yeah, she definitely seen him. No. Turns. Beamed. Oh, what? I'm excited for him to be in the tournament, though, so I hope he takes, takes a good one. I don't even know what he was, I was talking about. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was talking about. Patience is key, my friend. Dead silence almost over. You'll hear Dead Silence send right here. Oh, with a finisher. That's good. That was good. And... Dylan might be able to come back. Running that talent. Oh, beamed him. Holy <laughs> hell. <laughs> oh, beamed him. Oh, the nade kill. My reaction. Jacob was not running. My reaction on that was priceless. But there you go. That's the top 10. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the bracket play now. So here we have the bracket. This is what it looks like right now. <clears throat> um, Alex is in first seed, so she will be going against Dylan. Um, as you see, Alex won <clears throat> 30 to 7. That's why she gets first seed. Um, so, the way I see it is okay, Alex scored 30, obviously, so she wins, but Shade only scored 7. Alright, and for each of the people that's in the loser bracket, let's, let's just look. Okay, Shade scored 7, Jacob scored 27, J4 scored 22, and Afro scored 14. Shade scored the less, so that's why Alex gets first seed. Um, for the person who wins, it's how how many points did you allow them. So, since Alex only let Shade score 7, she gets first seed. That's why Dylan's actually got last seed, which is tough on Alex because I mean as much as you want to see Dylan and Jacob in the first round like that you gotta expect one of them to be the lower seed in the winner's bracket that's just how it's gonna happen um, so that's how that's seeded so you got Gigi only letting after a score 14 she gets third place and then <clears throat> um, Tokes no, Tokes getting third place, Gigi getting second. That's why Gigi, so the two girls got the top two. Uh, Tokes got third place with only letting J4 score 22. Um, so there's your maps for next round as well. Uh, again, if you guys remember me pulling the maps, I said, you know, the winner's bracket, you got Hill and Cargo. Well, on my piece of paper that I have, um, Hill's up top, Alex, whoever gets first seed, 
gets that map. Well, there it is. Alex got first seed, so she's on hill. Um, GG got cargo, so that's the winner's bracket for you right there. We'll go ahead and take a look at the loser bracket. Loser bracket, we got Jacob versus Shade, Afro versus J4. Um, Jacob, obviously, he scored the most, so let's go back. So when you're dealing with the, the loser bracket now, um, it's who scored the most on their opponent. Jacob scored 27. So he clearly gets first place. J4 gets second. Afro gets third. And Shade gets last. So Jacob versus Shade, that's a, that's a clear, obvious statement. Um, and Afro versus J4 on shipment. Um... That's your that's your loser bracket. Um, it looks pretty solid. I mean, you don't you don't, you wouldn't normally see Jacob or Dylan down there, but I mean, again, with that first round, one of them's got to go. So, can Shade pull off a miracle and knock Jacob out? I guess we're gonna find out. But let's go ahead with on the predictions. Let's do the Murdoch predictions, and actually, let's start. Let's start with the loser bracket. Um, Jacob versus Shade. Um, why do I think Jacob's gonna win? Um, because Jacob's gonna win. There's no if hands or buts about that. Jacob's winning. Shade's going. He's getting knocked out the tournament. I don't have a reason for that. It's just Jacob. That's it. He won last tournament. I don't see him losing against Shade. Um, Afra versus J4. Now, man, 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 man. That is a tough one. Um, again, nothing against Afro, but I have to I have to go with J4 on this one just because the fact that J4 has been playing the game a little bit longer than Afro. And again, that's my that's my sole reason. Afro's just not used to the game yet. That's just I, there's nothing nothing against Afro at all. It's just J4 has played the game longer. Um, Afro has been out of the loop of Call of Duty for, you know, from what he said for a couple of years now. So, I mean, it, it's just, that's all I'm going off of. I'm not going off of anything. He played a hell of a good game against GG. GG's one of the top players in this tournament, and Afro scored 14. That's impressive. It really is. So, I mean, I'm not I'm not throwing Afro under the bus, and I just, I just think J4 played the game a little bit longer, so he knows the loop of things, and... Either way, I think that was going to be a really good match. Uh, Afro, he likes that MP5, and that's a good, that's a good gun to use. Um, so I feel like Afro, Afro put up a good fight, but at the end, it's going to be a high-scoring game. But I think J Force is going to take it, just because he's played, he knows the game a little bit more. But that's again, that's my sole reason. There's no if we're if we're matching talent, I say the talent's pretty well even. On that one, it's just J Four's played longer. That's it. Now for the winners bracket, let's go with the easier one here: Dylan versus Alex. Uh, I, I don't want to say easy because she's in the background; she can probably hear me right now. But uh, Dylan's taking that one. Alex is going to lose the bracket. Um, the good news is, the good news, uh, it is on a gunfight map, so Dylan can't use his dead silence. Um, he might get a little cocky, you know, the underdogs always can come out under top. Um, as you've seen this weekend, Titans beating Baltimore, Baltimore number one seed. I know you guys don't watch football, but, uh, if you do watch football, Titans beat Baltimore Ravens, six seed versus first seed and, uh, Titans won. So I'm not saying Alex can't win. I'm just saying it's unlikely. And if she does, that's, that's really good, obviously. Um, but since it's Hill, you know, this is this is not a normal map. No field upgrades, and only your three perks that you can use. No special stabilities. So, I mean, it, it might be a different story. But I feel like Dylan's still going to come out on top. Uh, it's either going to be a slaughter or it's going to be a close match. It might. I don't see it being in between. But it might be. I don't know. I just predict Dylan winning that one. GG versus Toax. Why do you guys do this to me? 
that's your primetime match for this round. Uh, that's just your primetime match. I don't. That's a tough one. Um, as much as I want to say Tokes because he's on my team, he's going to be playing nervous against Gigi. I want to say they're pretty well evenly matched. They're both uh, smart with their movement. They're both very well equally good on their aiming. Um, they're good on their awareness. If I had to make a prediction, I'm going to have to go with Tokes. I think Tokes may take GD. Maybe. Again, that one's a tough one. Um, I don't know. You know, I, Gigi's a good player. Uh, it could be Gigi. But I, I just have to put my money on Tokes only because I feel like he's played a little longer. They, mo they both, see, they're so evenly matched. So if we're going to be honest here, they both make uh, simple mistakes. They, I, I've seen them both make like mistakes they shouldn't, but like, they shouldn't be doing. They both do the same like kind of mistake. So I don't know. They both make really good plays when they need to. But I feel like it, it, if Tokes is under pressure, you know, he comes out on top and. The other reason I feel like Tokes is winning is he already played on Cargo. He's got an advantage. He's already played on this map. So, GG, I feel like, is going to be the underdog here. And my number one reason why is because he's already played on this map. He's already played J4 on Cargo. And that's why I'm picking Tokes. Um, you know, he, he kind of has a sense of spawn. So if Gigi wants to win this, she's, she probably wants to watch Tokes versus J4 on Cargo to watch kind of how that's played out. You know, do your little bit of research or something. But I'm not saying Gigi's not winning. I'm just saying Tokes, I think, has the upper hand only because he played on the map. And that's my predictions. I mean, Dylan, Tokes, and Jacob, J4. That's my predictions. If I'm wrong, so be it. I'm wrong. I mean, it's going to happen. And I kind of hope sometimes I am wrong. I hope I hope there is a, a, an underdog that wins this round. It'll be awesome to watch, uh, strictly for content and fun. So um, tell me what you guys think. Tell me what your guys' predictions are. Um, just put them in the comments. Hope you guys like this video and wait till you watch the next round because it is going to be amazing. The next round of matches, I'm excited for. I hope you guys are too and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.